Yellow, I'm Skid from the Widescreen Gaming Forum, and today I'm going to be giving you a look at Titanfall. Now, Titanfall is a multiplayer only first person shooter with mechs. It's going to be effectively what everyone knows it for. Um, its multi monitor support is decent out of the box. This is actually, I'm going to refer to it as a press beta or a PR beta because there doesn't look like there's much here in way of bugs, and I think they primarily want to just like build hype. And also to so like just make sure the servers don't fall over randomly for no reason. But I still fully expect that when the game goes live, the servers are just going to collapse because that's the way that these sort of things go. But anyway, we'll quickly go through the options. So first things first, it's detected by desktop resolution natively and it pulled that up fine. The game is horizontal plus. The cut screen in the background is actually vertical minus, but the game itself is vertical or horizontal plus. I have all the settings as high as they will go, um, with the exception of anti-alias in which I've turned off for the purpose of recording. Um, there doesn't appear to be a SLI profile for this yet, so the game is actually, despite trying to run both cores, is only really using one of them. So once it's got an SLI profile, then this should run absolutely smoothly on my system, but for the most part, I've not seen it go much below 60 most of the time. Uh, that's while recording, so it's got pretty decent performance out of the box. And yeah, these are fully scalable, so they go down to low, and you can turn some of these off. I think you can turn the shadows off. Yeah. So it's very, very scalable, which is excellent. There is a field of view slider. It only goes between 70 and 90, but as I said, it's vertical plus. So it depends whether or not this is basing off a 4.3 aspect ratio or a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The reason being that 90 is basically the standard you would use scaled up from 4.3 or yeah 4 by 3 upwards. So if this is um, by 16 by 9, the field of view is, will technically be a little bit low, but it'd still be fairly reasonable nonetheless. So yeah, we'll quickly go through some of the other options. Did I actually change anything? I did not, so we'll discard them. So you've got mouse and keyboard settings. You can rebind all your keys. You can change your mouse sensitivity, and you can turn mouse acceleration off. It's off by default, which is good. Keybind is a standard, so you can change um, primary and secondary keys. I've moved some of them around. I may move them back. Um, for instance, where is it? Melee attack. Um, I've set it to F because that's where I'm used to it being, and then grenades G. So, yeah, I've just tweaked some of them. And then you've also got audio settings. There's master volumes. Uh, let's just mute that just in case. I've not had anyone use voice chat yet, so, but I don't want to, um, excuse me, I have a cup of tea here, it's very bad of me that I'm burping. So, yeah, I've not, not heard anyone using the voice chat yet, but I'll turn it off just in case we get some obscene little idiot, but yeah, and then otherwise just fairly standard settings. Um, I actually looked up, YouTube is actually capable of doing 5.1 surround, and my headset is 5.1 surround. But since I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to record, we'll just do it on stereo. So we'll leave it on that. But we've also got things like um, emitter limit, which limits the amount of sounds that the game can produce at once, and then the subtitles, which is standard. Okay, uh, the HUD margins, I honestly don't know what they do, and I will show you why in a bit. I'm guessing it pushes the um, HUD in from the side slightly. But yeah, we shall run into a server. That was good, nice and quick. And we shall quickly go through some of the options. Now, at the minute, I'm just sitting in a lobby. I'm not actually waiting for a game, so we'll quickly go through Pilot and Titan Customization. Actually, I can't show you Titan Customization because I've not unlocked it yet. We'll go through Pilot Customization. So... There's a very, very limited selection of weapons at the moment because they've only put a very small amount of the co game's content in this beta. So these are all the weapons I have access to. This is the weapon I want to have access to, but I don't unlock it for another two levels. So it's a fairly standard affair. So you've got a shotgun, got a carbine, and it tells you on the right what they all do. The smart pistol is a little bit unique. It's basically a lock-on weapon, and it will lock onto a target, and then when you pull the trigger, it will unload... Um, so like up to three rounds or up to four rounds. Um, it takes a reasonable time to lock onto a pilot and you have to lock on three times to effectively get an insta-kill with it. So it's not as simple as just an easy weapon. If the other pilot is moving a lot, then they can avoid it fairly easily. 
Um, and then the rest of them are all fairly standard, so you've got the USMGs there, etc. You then also have an anti-Titan weapon. At the minute, there's only two. Uh, the heavy rocket launcher and the sidewind anti-Titan weapon, which is basically a rapid-fire rocket launcher. Sidearms, again, it's fairly standard. They're just a pistol that you can swap to at any time. And then, also, we have tactical ability. Now, at the minute, I only have cloaked and lock, but these are basically just abilities that you can use on the battlefield. Cloak is primarily designed to render you almost completely invisible to enemy titans but not necessarily to enemy pilots and i've been shot while in cloak multiple times by um, pilots on foot so something to bear in mind it doesn't make you completely invisible you are still not easy to see but you can still be seen if you're running across the um, open grass and then ordnance your grenades and things like that so i've been using frag grenades yeah i will keep using frag grenades the arc grenades are effectively um electric EMP grenades and they're useful for sc scrambling titans um, heads up displays and then you've also got kits which are basically your perks the ones I've got an enhanced parkour core kit which gives me extra ability to wall run, run and jump and I'm also using the dome shield battery because I've not got well I don't see any of these as useful largely because this is absolutely useless to me again I will come to that when we get in game and then you can also change your character's gender. So yeah, that's pilot customization. There's three slots. I think I unlocked it at level five. I've been playing for about an hour and a half, and I'm level seven, so progress so far hasn't been too slow. The other thing to have a look at are these things here, burn cards. Uh, these are basically special, well, they're special cards that you can equip to yourself and then use in a match to give you the effect on the card until you die. So you can use them, so for example this one here, Decisive Action, will take 40 seconds off the build time of my Titan. Um, so that basically means I can summon my Titan faster. Now if I start a match with that, it means that I will have 40 seconds off my initial build time of my Titan. So, oops, nope. So yeah, you can use them to give yourself a particular advantage and I think they're there to mix up the game a little. Uh, the one I've got at the moment, just because I've not actually used these yet, these were the last thing I unlocked, is um, faster pilot movement speed, which I'm hoping will get me to a vantage point quicker. That's the idea. Let's re-equip that. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay. And then the rest of these are relatively simple. Last game summary, which is... The one thing that I would re or really don't like is the fact that this shows me the summary, but it doesn't give me... Oh, I can't view the... Um, oh, what's it called? I can't view the score screen, as far as I can tell, from the last match. Um, but this, the last match I actually did is the one that I um, put up as a temporary video. So the last match I did was actually the one I performed best in. So, and then we've also got challenges here, which are mostly used to unlock... Um... Oh, that's a good point. I completely forgot about that because I didn't think I'd unlocked anything yet. There's one other thing with weapons. You can customise them to a degree, but you have to unlock particular... So, if we see down here, uh, I have to get another 31 kills of grunts, which are basically the NPCs, in order to unlock the Hedgecog sights. And then you can also get extended magazine and suppressor. So you can customise your weapons, but in order to do that, you have to unlock special um, challenges with them. And once you've done that, then you can unlock them and they will give you... Um, so that increases the magazine size and that one... What's it do? Suppressor? Oh yeah, that means I won't show up on the minimap if I use the weapon. So there is more customization there than I originally showed, but yeah. So yeah, the challenges are basically what primarily unlocks all of those. But yeah, we'll try and jump into a match, and we'll see whether or not I get owned. So there's three different modes in the beta. Um, Attrition is the main one. It's the one I'm primarily going to be playing. Um, so you'll see that one in action. Hard points is your standard domination match. And last Titan stand-in basically starts all 12 players with a Titan. And it's basically the 
team with the most well team with the most pilots still alive not necessarily titans because if you eject from your titan you can still continue playing but yeah it's the last team standing more than titan standing we're going to be doing attrition so we shall queue ah excellent so one issue that i do have is that there's no way to ready up which basically means that if you look up here that counter starts at 90. So there is a one and a half minute wait time between the end of one match and the start of the next match. And I would really like it if there was a ready button so that if everybody clicked ready, it just started the match because one and a half minutes is an insane amount of time to wait when the matches take about 10 to 15. But yeah, it's a first person shooter for the most part, but there are several unique things so we shall quickly try and get into it so we're going to get air dropped into the um, battle so firstly you have double jump and secondly you have wall run and you can combine them together to move incredibly fast around the map That's a grunt on our team. So yeah, what you may notice is the hood is missing. It actually is there. What it's actually doing is the hood is being scaled based upon the aspect ratio I chose and the resolution that I'm running. So because multi monitor resolutions appear under 16 by 3 Because the resolute or the aspect ratio that um, multi monitor resolution comes under is 16 by um, 9, I should say. I think I got that wrong last time. Because it comes under 16 by 9, the hood is actually being scaled by a factor of 3. Since the hood is centered, that means the top and bottom one third of my hood is missing. Which is not ideal. Titan. Now he has his back to me. This is my Titan. So you can't just outright summon your Titan, you have to wait a while. Well, that didn't last long, never mind. Ah! 
But yeah, uh, you summon your Titan effectively by scoring attrition points. How many attrition points you score depends upon what you're killing. We're not doing too badly, but they're still well ahead of us. That Titan's on auto mode. I need to remember what the command is to put my Titan in auto mode. Well, my Titan should be in auto mode now anyway, unless someone destroyed it. Oh no, there's my Titan. <laughs> Survived without me. So my Titan is actually now doomed, but I'm going to ride it over here if I can. The second that red line fills, then it's going to go nuclear because I put a nuclear perk on this thing. So I'm now at the drop zone. Enemy pilot arrival at the evac point detected. Recommend clearing area of hostiles and awaiting dropship arrival. So at the end of a match, basically, the losing team has to get to an evac pod and get away, but the um, winning team has got to either try and stop the enemy pilots or destroy the evac ship. I thought I was doing better than that, never mind. They did wipe the floor with us, though. So yeah, um, Titans are basically summoned by uh, scoring attrition points, and once you've or they are summoned after a period of time, but you can accelerate that by um, scoring attrition points. And you do that by either killing grunts or killing pi pilots or killing titans. So yeah, look, we've got 70 seconds to wait. Now, one thing that I will say while I'm, wait while I'm waiting, I shall give you my experience of the first match I fought. So this game basically has no matchmaking system whatsoever at the moment. Uh, the first match I got put in, I got put into a opposing team to a team that had four fixed players or three maximum level players in it that basically absolutely destroyed our team. We stood no chance at all because our team was mostly new people. And then I decided that I'll hang around. The game should, if it's any good, balance the teams out, which of course it didn't do. So the next match went exactly the same way. So that wasn't very good that new players are basically getting put in with the people that have been playing the most. 
it's not going to leave a good impression on new players if they keep that in. They need to put in some sort of decent matchmaking system. So I burned one of my cards, so let's put a new one in. Ooh. The place is the primary weapon with a sniper rifle explosive one. I think this is good against titans. So I'll put that in there in case I can use it. So this is Angel City, I think. I've only seen, I think, three different maps at the moment. But again, this is just a temporary beta or a um, PR beta. So a lot of the content's been cut out of it. But yeah, I really do like the general flow of the battle and the movement system. The movement system is awesome. I mean, I was actually fortunate enough that I was playing um, Unreal Tournament uh, 2004 prior to playing this. So the speed, speed of the movement and the fact you can double jump reminded me a lot of that. So I already had a leg up on roughly how I thought it would control. But yeah, it, just the flow of the movement is just brilliant. Damn it. The problem with that gun is that, well, you can say it's easy mode, but if you're in the open, then it's fairly easy to lock you. But that's the problem. The range of it, I think, needs reducing a bit. I'm better than this, I know I am. Don't land on him. And I shouldn't have walked beneath his leg, that was stupid of me. Yeah, let's see if we can use this. I want to know whether or not it's any good. back and still doing still owning us my titan's still wandering around
Where'd he go? How can I lose a Titan? Dying when I'm summoning the Titan in. Where is it? It's over there. Well, at least the Auto Titan isn't as useless as the Grunts are. Shotgun. <laughs> Is my Titan dead? Your replacement Titan will be ready in two minutes. My Titan's dead again, never mind. Damn it, I'm doing terribly. That sounded very close. Where is everyone? Damn that smart pistol. I need to figure out how the hell you're supposed to jump on the back of these guys because I've seen someone climb up them but I can't work out how. That wasn't much closer fight but yet yeah, still. I'm doing terribly. Three kills, eight deaths. And most of them are thanks to that guy, Kendu. I, I don't particularly like the smart pistol. I mean, I can perfectly accept that some people are going to have better aim than me, but the smart pistol is just like... You don't need to aim it, you just point it somewhere in their direction. And if they don't happen to know they're, that you're behind them, then you die. Right, we'll give it one more match and see if we can do any better. Plus we got an extra unlock, stim, which is not something I want to use, I prefer my cloak. Anti-Titan with high capacity auto mag. Uh, yeah, let's load that one. I didn't think you could customize that. Can you customize that? No. Still don't have Titan customization.
Kendu is ruining my kill-death ratio. I had only just got it back above one. Last try. Let's see if I can't actually be somewhere halfway halfway decent this time. Music again with his smart pistol. He went down. Tell me I killed him. That flat out should have fucking killed it. Is he bulletproof or something? What the hell? So that's how you do it. Let's 
get this anti-titan weapon. Assuming I'm even going to get the chance to use it. God damn that guy! I'm gonna fucking kill him, it's the last thing I do. what damage core is supposed to do. It says press V. I'll push V when I see another Titan. He's on our team. I need to reload when I can see him. He's going to hold the grudge, eh? Damage over online. Damage core activated. Tactics to all ground units. The militia has been defeated. Excellent work. Five. The militia forces have been defeated. But enemy survivors remain in your area. Do not allow them to escape. Where's their evac point? Damn it, of course I need to reload. Ah, they got away. That's a little better. <laughs> Still nowhere near as good as I was doing last night, but never mind. So yeah, that's Titanfall in a nutshell. These are really close fights. He is carrying his other team. Whereas the guy at the top is carrying me. I leveled, didn't I? What did I unlock? Another burn console? Ooh, I can use the sniper rifle now. That's immediately being equipped. That's better. My kind of weapon. 
Now I can actually take a vantage point and shoot people. What's that? Ah. That's a nice card to have. But anyway, yeah. Let me leave the lobby before it starts another game. So yeah, that's Titanfall. I mean, what is here is sparse just because they haven't got most of the Titan. There's only one Titan and only a small selection of weapons. But it is still a lot of fun. Um, the 6v6 seems like the right number as far as I'm concerned. If there was many more, then I would continue to be ge or you'd continue to be attacked from behind. And people would just be sneaking up on you all the time. But... There are enough pilots on the field and enough NPCs on the field to make it feel like a proper battle. And that's what I believe is what they're aiming for. But yeah, it works reasonably well. I'm hoping they will fix the HUD because at the minute I've got no radar at all. I can't see anything. I have to use my eyes and even then I'm not necessarily going to see anything because camo. Um, but yeah, hopefully they will fix the HUD. If they don't, I'm probably sure someone from the widescreen gaming forum will. Um, but, yeah, decent game, definitely worth a look at. Um, hoping they do more with it, hoping they add more maps and more um, weapons, more titans, which I know they are. So, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it. If you didn't, please dislike it. Let me know why, post in the comments section. Uh, all of these help push my video up the search rankings, which is why I'm going to keep telling you, asking you to do it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time.